Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a background image only on mobile devices. Now, by default, Elementor doesn't give you the option to toggle the use of background images per device. They only give you the option to toggle between different background images on a device. This trick can be helpful if you need to change the look of your website only on mobile devices. Or in my use case, I wanted to remove a background image because it helped with my overall mobile page speed performance and gave me a boost in loading times. The great thing about this trick is it's just one line of CSS code and it can be used on either Elementor Pro or if you're using just the free version of Elementor. I'm going to show you how to do this trick on both versions. Here's the example we're going to be working with in this tutorial. As you can see, this is just one big section, a heading, and some text right here. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the background image when the user is on a mobile device. So when it gets to about this size, I'm going to show you how to remove this image completely and just swap it out with a, a CSS color. Here we are on the back end of the website, and let me show you how I have this set up. So this is one big section right here, and if you go under Style, I just have the default option right here we, under classic. I just chose an image right here. So like I said in the beginning, I wish there was a way that you can just remove the background image on a mobile device. So it would be great if I could just click the trash can button right here, but it doesn't exist. So you're gonna have to pull this off with using CSS. So let's jump back over into the desktop mode. And as you can see right here, I just have the image here. I don't have any color overlays or background overlays, nothing like that. Just a simple background. Now I'm gonna show you in Elementor Pro how easy it is to remove that background and swap it out. So if you go under Advanced, Custom CSS, this is all while I'm selected on the section right here. Just add this code right here. And if I go into Mobile Mode, you're gonna see right here, this is what it's gonna look like. So here's Tablet. And if we switch to mobile, it just goes to blue. So let's quickly go over this code so you can better understand it. So this right here is a meta query. So if you're not familiar with this, this is how you tell the browser, do something at this resolution. And where I got this number from is if I go here, let me just hit update. If you go into your site settings right here in Elementor, go under layout, breakpoints, Whatever you have defined right here, uh, so in this use case, I didn't change this, so by default, it's 767. So that's mobile device. So as soon as a user's device is at 767 pixels, it's now in mobile device mode. So you can just close out of this section now, and let's jump back into the code. So here we are right here, and under CSS. So that right there, the 767, like I said, is the mobile. And the good thing about Elementor Pro is you could just add this code right onto the section that you want to target. And what's good about that is you can change these colors or values and it will update within the browser. So when you're using the free version, uh, it's not going to work in real time. You're going to have to add the code and then refresh the page and it should work. So when you use selector inside Elementor Pro, what that's saying is target this section right here. And they give you a little bit of uh, information down here if you've never used selector. So this code is just saying at the meta query 767, select this section. And it's as simple as this. You just type in background dash image none. And you have to make sure that you add the word important right here, because if you don't add important, let me remove that. It's not going to stick. So this is because Elementor is trying to force that. So you need to just add that code and it will override what Elementor is trying to do. And then the next section is just background dash color and then this is your hex code right here so you could type in whatever here so if i want to make it a black black color you can just change that right there so that's what i was saying is you could see it happens in real time so that's what's nice you could just do that hit update now let's refresh the page and let me show you how it works so when the user gets to 767 so right around here you could see it works perfectly like I said, I came across this trick because I needed to remove the background image of a section very similar to this on our website because I wanted to score better on Google PageSpeed and GT Metrics. So if you do have background images and they don't look that great on mobile, this is gonna be a really good trick because it's gonna increase your scores and overall just give your page a better performance on the mobile level. Now I'm gonna show you how to pull this off if you're using just the free version of Elementor. So this isn't gonna require Elementor Pro. 
And it's very similar to what we just did. We just need to place that CSS code in a different location and it should work fine. So let me go back into here under section. And as you can see from the beginning of the tutorial, you don't have access to this custom CSS. So what we can do is target this section right here with a class. So if you look under here, CSS classes, I just have a class called mobile BG. Just type in whatever there, hit update. And there's a couple of different ways you can access the customizer. You could just go to the front end of the page, click customize, or you can access this through the back end under appearance and customize. Now we just need to add some additional CSS. So once you're in the customizer, just go down to additional CSS and just paste in this code right here. All of these codes are in the link in the description below. So same thing as before, we have the meta query at 767, but instead of that word selector, we just need to type in the CSS class we just created. So in this case, it was called mobile BG. So just type in dot mobile BG and that's it. The rest of the code is the same. Uh, you just have a background image, none important background color, whatever color you want. You just need to hit update. And now let's do a test on the front end of the website to see if this works with the free version of Elementor. So once you scale this down to 767, so it switches over to the blue background without an image. So it works out perfectly on the free version of Elementor as well. And that's it for this video. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.